Sean, how are you liking uh, Baltimore Comic Con so far? Baltimore is my dad's hometown, so I flew in a little bit early to spend some time with him, and then I showed up at the convention center, and Baltimore Comic Con is kicking off. I mean, it's, it's massive. I can't believe how big it is. I'm just looking at it. It's like, it's massive. So, out of all the films that you've done over your career, what do you think you're the most recognized for? What do you have fans come up to you and say, hey, John, I love you? You would, think, uh, you would think Lord of the Rings or The Goonies, you know, the two movies that... Those are kind of like my big movies. Uh, and Rudy is another movie that I'm, I'm known for around town and that kind of thing. But people come up to me all the time and they want to know about 50 First Dates, where I played Doug, the muscle building, uh, pretty thick drinking, lifting kind of guy, the Adam Sandler, Drew Barrymore movie. And, uh, and so it's funny to me that people, that's what, uh, you know, like, okay, Lord of the Rings was fun. I love that movie. And I've done, you know, I've been fortunate. I've done the. Gotta done, done my, my stuff that I've done, and people uh, they throw out things, and I just like I can't believe anybody actually saw some of the things they did. Yeah. So now you're here for some voice work as well, as well on uh, Ninja Turtles. How did that come about? Just now coming into voice acting. You know, I was uh, starring in, a, in an animated show for Disney Channel called Special Agent Oso. Special Agent Oso. It's all part of the plan. And. Uh, uh, so I think I was kind of on the radar of some of the networks and stuff, and I just got a call saying they're down to the wire. They've got the other three turtles cast. They think you might be great for Raphael. Do you want to come in and, and audition for it? And uh, I said, yeah, and I drove over there right away. There was, like, no time between learning that it was happening and me being in the room. And they had, like, I don't know, 2,000 people in the little glass booth. And uh, when I walked in, they were so... I think they had kind of basically decided they liked me before I got in there because it was, like, the best audition I've ever done I mean, in terms of how it felt because of the response that I got. And um, I walked outside and I called my agent and just said, you know, if I didn't get this job, if I don't get an offer on this job, I pretty much need to quit because my ability to read a situation is broken. And I got a call right away just saying, no, no, they love you, they want you to start tomorrow. You know, so... Well, what are you looking forward to in the future coming up and uh, things like that? Just continuing on with Turtles or...? You know, I, I'm 45 years old now, you know, got, uh, I've been married 25 years, I got three kids, oldest ones at Harvard University, or second year, so I'm like, I'm not as young as I used to be, and things are changing, is what I, is that cocktail? So, um, so at this phase of my life, I don't know what necessarily I'm right for, you know, I mean, we'll see what comes down the pike, so I guess I'm in a mode of, um, not waiting, but eagerly anticipating whatever the yeah. next cool thing is and I don't I have no idea what that's gonna be but I I do have faith that something something cool will come. If not I'm gonna have to come live at your house. Well, Done. <laughs> well Sean we want to thank you so much for your time and appreciate uh, the interview as well. Let me tell you what I think about film fat. Okay. <laughs> Makes you sound silly saying it. <laughs> film fat. Like what? It's like a flim flam man. You got a flim fat man. A flim fat man, you got a flim fat man. I don't know. Like, you know, we've come up with something like, you know, silver screen suckers or I don't know, any, anything but flim flam, flim flim flam. I'm going I'm to hide. And the way you guys said it to the, hey, I'm with flim flam. I'm like the flim fat. You know what a flim flam man is, right? It's like, so film fad. It's film fad. It stands for a, f what, what is fad short for? It's like a, a passing craze or a new big thing. That sums us up. Yeah. But like fan is short for fanatic. Yeah. Is fad short for fadatic? Uh, Maybe. You got nothing. You guys can't see this from my side of the screen. These guys are like, oh. So thank you very it's much. It's for fabulous. Yeah. Fadulous. Oh my God, you guys are fabulous. <laughs> Have you guys been to Film Pad? They are fabulous. <laughs> what can you see if you go to Film Pad? I don't know. I don't really want to click through. It's like I get all the colors. It's green. I feel froggy. I don't know. Anyhow. 